Alrighty, we're back. We are playing Captain Marvel Aggression against the Absorbing Man. Final game with Captain Marvel. So, we're going to have some fun with some minions. Hey, D20, you missed a Vision deck. Well, it was a Captain Marvel deck, but it was built all around Vision. So, it, it was fun. It was fun. We, uh, we killed Absorbing Man real quick. But, okay, so now we're playing Aggression. And we are going to go crazy with the minions and so this is all kind of built around minion killing with some thors and also just running you know a heavier a heavier lightning deck or energy deck right uh brant who who uh commented on uh the youtube video he suggested running plasma pistol and captain's marvel's deck because one it's an energy resource and also it gives that ping damage so if there is a uh, a tough status card on the villain or something you have plasma pistol right there to just kind of knock it off and so or if you don't need it then you can toss it to fuel your rechannel or your um your energy absorption so kind of that that's that's that was shout out to brant uh to for that suggestion but yeah so we're just running uh you know bug valkyrie throg uh wasp is great with this because the entire deck is just lightning resources so you're going to easily be able to hit uh, Wasp um, pretty well. Thor, and then deal one damage to each character is probably going to happen with Hulk, or he can just kind of tank it. And then the rest of the deck is, you know, Relentless Assaults. Uh, you'll pay for that to help Angela to go find the minions. Moment of Triumphs to heal and bring it to go for it. So really the main damage is going to be coming from your Caps cards. So... Oh, and the modular set. We are playing against Menagerie Med Med yeah, Menagerie Medley. So this is the minion deck right here, right? I think this is actually maybe it's tied with the modular set with the most minions in it. So it has uh, nine. So it's a it, it's got one. It's I hate these Cyanic Ghosts. They're horrible, but they're from the Galaxy's Most Wanted campaign and so that was a we don't we don't talk about galaxies most wanted all that much <laughs> but, but yeah so that's that should give me some minions to kill i didn't go the whole overkill route um i think that's a fun build but i wanted to go a little bit different with this captain marvel deck also if you want to check out the deck and you're on youtube link is going to be below so Alrighty. Absorbing Man at 14. Hero is at 12. Also, so Trap It commented um, and, and brought up a really good point that I probably, or you should let Captain Marvel take the first hit, whether or not you defend or not, just to give her access to that rechannel ability because part of the cost of the rechannel is healing. And so you, if you are at full health, you cannot do it. And so probably in the protection game that I was running, um, probably take that first hit and then kind of build back up. Use the rechannel to get back up to full health and then run the perfect defense at that point. I see star shards are just freaking cool looking. They, they really are. <laughs> they, they are nasty, but they are cool looking. Also, we've got uh, a good bit of health in here. So hopefully that, that works well. Okay, so let's get our environment. I'm going to flip this way. There it is right there. Rocky Alcrop. So this is the... Makes an undefended attack against you. Heal one damage from him. He won't, he won't be alive long enough to use that. This comes in with two threat. And we get six cards. Hey, we got Hulk right off the bat. We got an energy channel right off the bat. We got an endurance. Man, we can load up. We can almost load up energy channel this round. I'll take it. Not not bad. I don't think we necessarily want to do that, but we, we can. We can. Um, let's go ahead and toss. We don't... Mm. I actually don't hate this hand.
Okay. Yeah, let's just roll with it. Okay, so we're going to draw the top card, which is Captain Marvel's helmet. Okay, well, I wish I could mulligan that. So we'll flip up to Captain Marvel. We will um, put Energy Channel onto the table. We're also going to toss a Captain Marvel's helmet to put Endurance onto the table. So that's going to give us three hit points. Hey, look, I think it's... My, my health is higher than the villains. Does that mean I win? Um, we're going to go ahead and put Hulk onto the table. And we're going to spend this last crisis interdiction, interdiction to put a counter on energy channel. And I need my readies. I love your never-ending positivity. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So we'll just go ahead and thwart two off of this main. Don't have to worry about that for a while. And... That'd be crazy if we attacked, right? No, we'll, we'll, I don't think that, we're not going to attack. Okay, he's going to be used as a defender. Well, Captain Marvel could take the first hit. Okay, let's do it. Hulk will attack for three, and we discard the top card of my deck. Um, top card of my deck is a lightning. Imagine that. So we deal one damage to every character. So Hulk is now at two damage. Captain Marvel takes the damage, and Absorbing Man takes the damage. Okay. Hulk is hilarious. Hulk is so funny. Okay, let's see what we got. We got a genius. Got a bug. I like seeing that. Got a moment of triumph. Okay. We got to bring it. And we got a crisis. So what's really great is that if we don't end up getting any minions, energy channel. So that that's kind of what I've been doing with Captain Marvel is really looking for what I can build her deck around with these energy resources. So that's that's kind of what we're doing. Okay, so we'll place one threat here on the main scheme. We'll place a delay counter as well. And then Absorbing Man is going to attack. I do have one damage on me. He's attacking for two. We will... We will take it it's gonna heal one damage but i think we'll be fine there hey hulk creates a chance for the first turn rechannel that's pretty cool yeah yeah <laughs> it is kind of cool i didn't think about it i probably should have you know attacked with him before i would have drawn into a genius which actually probably would have changed yeah that definitely would have changed what i did but oh well good to know good to think about so absorbing man is going to attack i'm just going to take it to the face so two plus one so three and then Absorbing Man heals the damage because of the Rocky Outcrop. Now we're going to get a... Oh, wait, hold on. I went the wrong way. So we're at 14. Then I take 3 damage. So it'll go down. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then our bad card is Advance. Uh-oh, the villain scheme. So 1 plus 1, so 2. And we're in it to win it. Okay, so... We will, we're going to put a genius into play and put bug onto the table. Bug will thwart, <laughs> yeah, bug will thwart one. Now, hold on, before that, we are going to we're going to toss a bring it to channel to do rechannel. So we draw a card and we heal one. That's Quinn Carrier. Should have done that first because I would have put Quinn Carrier onto the table. Misplay. I found a misplay. Hey, I found a misplay. I didn't think of it until after you attacked with him, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I didn't either. I didn't think of it until you said it. So, <laughs> Okay, so what we will do is we're going to toss Moment of Triumph and Crisis to put two more counters here onto Energy Channel. We are going to use Bug to thwart one off the main. We are going to attack with Captain Marvel, which will heal Bug for two. Down to nine. And, man, I should have, I should have, I should have, should have done that. Should have done that differently. Always draw cards first. 
Okay, so we're not gonna <laughs> we're we're not gonna risk it with Hulk at this point. Or or do we? That'd be crazy, right? Yeah, why not? Why not? Yeah. Hulk's gonna attack for three. And then we'll discard the top card of the deck. It's a lightning resource, so deal one damage to everyone. So Hulk takes two damage. Bug takes one. I take one and the villain takes one. So we have him down to five, which means that we can kill him with energy channel if we want, but there's not really a reason to do that right now going right into the villain phase. So what we'll do is we will let him attack. Hulk will block and we'll take him into round two on, on this next turn. Alrighty, okay, so we're, we're going to toss Quinn as we're readying up everybody. I'm going to draw a uh, Photonic Blast and another Energy Channel. A Crisis, Interdiction, and Audacity. And a Energy. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I like seeing that. I like seeing that. Okay. So we're going to place one threat here on the main scheme. We're going to up our delay counter to two. Absorbing Man is going to attack, and Hulk will take that block. So two plus a star. Put this card into play. So Abandon Factory. After Absorbing Man makes an undefended attack against you, discard one resource icon from your hand. Two if there are five or more delay counters. So that takes Hulk out. And we're going to get a bad card, which is Avalanche. Uh, when revealed, each player must choose to either spend a lightning resource or take two indirect damage, three indirect damage if there are five or more on the main scheme. That comes in with two. Um, I'm not going to spend. I'm going to take the damage. So we're going to go down two, and then it'll be my turn. I think we ignore that, because he's, yeah. Okay, so first off, let's, well, let's, let's think about this. We're going to toss Crisis to heal one. And draw a card, which is a plasma pistol. Okay, so we've got eight damage here in our hand with that. He has five health. So I'm wondering if we go here, we kill him with photonic blast, then next turn we can hit him for eight. And we will have a card, so we may actually be able to hit him for a lot more. So, okay, yep, so let's do that. So let's go ahead and spend an energy and not an audacity. We're not going to do that. We're going to spend an energy and a, a plasma pistol to deal five damage to the villain. So we'll take him into round two, and we get to draw a card. It's your power of aggression. Okay, not the finish he had hoped for. So take him up to 15 health. 14, 15, there we go. Okay, and then we need to put super, super bad absorbing whatever into play. Super absorbing power. That comes in with three and it gives him every single trait on the face of the earth. So we will, I never discarded blast. Okay, well that's out there. Um, we'll take audacity and the power of aggression to put two more counters here. And because I paid audacity, I get to do a ping damage to absorbing man. So he's down to 14. We're going to trigger energy channel to deal 10 damage. We're going to be one short. We're going to be one short. 
We'll put energy channel onto the table. Um, we will go ahead and thwart two off of absorbing power. With no, no, that's crazy. That's bug's gonna die if I do that. So well, bug will die anyways. I'm gonna have him block. So yeah, we'll just hit him for two. So I think that she is really good in all different aspects. What are your favorite aspects to play her in? Chat. What are you what are you fond of her playing? But we're readying up. We've got Relentless Salt Spider Woman Cosmic Flight. We have so much damage in our hand. Thor. Oh my goodness. Okay. So we're gonna start out, we're gonna place two here on the main scheme. Absorbing Man is going to attack me. Bug will step in and take it. So it's going to be 2 plus a 1. So Bug does not quite make it. And then we're going to get a bad card, which is Steel Kick. Place 2 threat on the main scheme. Uh, 3 threat if... Oh, wait, no. This is a hero. Take 3 indirect damage or 4 indirect damage if he has the metal trait. So I will take 4 indirect damage. And then we will. It's our turn, so we will just. I I, I can attack here. I've also got two, four, six, eight damage in my hand from energy channel, so it's a lot of damage. Captain Marvel's pretty good. Captain Marvel's pretty good. Absorbing Man's pretty bad, to be fair. But, I mean, Captain Marvel is a really good hero. So, that was Captain Marvel. That was all four of the aspects. Um, we'll, we'll, I'll put a video out to kind of talk about her in the different aspects and which ones I like. I do, I am, I've barely played her, to be honest, and I'm liking Red on her. Red is very interesting now, especially with Thor, with Valkyrie, with Wasp. I think those are the three, I guess Hulk two, right? You kind of are kind of know, but so Wasp, right? You can easily pay three energy for her. You can easily hit Thor. So when Thor attacks a minion engaged with the player, spend a energy resource and resolve the attack against each minion engaged with that player. Valkyrie, after she enters play, deal two damage to a minion or three damage if you paid for this card using a energy resource. Um, and then Hulk deals one damage to everyone. Him, which aspect? I don't play Captain Marvel. That's fair. <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I like Red. I like Red. She, she's really good in Red. Cool. Okay, well, that takes us... That, we're two for two for the night. I, I'm, I'm liking that. I'm liking our odds so far. We are going to step it up a little bit. Ebony Maw is slightly more challenging than Absorbing Man. I probably won't necessarily put Absorbing Man back in the... Um, in the rotation until we probably get to a, a more D list hero because Absorbing Man is kind of on, on the soft side. But we are going to go against Ebony Maul with Star Lord. Our first aspect is going to be Protection. So Protection Star Lord. And we'll go from there. Aggression with access to the card draw is very, very scary. Yes, absolutely. Alrighty, I'm going to go be right back. We'll set everything up and I will see you all here in just one quick second. Thank you. 